So I took to the Oxford English Dictionary to try to see if we can uh, uh, see what it all had to say about Apaches. And uh, this one right here was one that I had to stop and point out because I literally was just talking to my sister tonight about Albert Pike and how he uh, represented uh, Native Americans in court cases, which I have to believe it, he wouldn't represent the real, you know, Aborigines or if he was representing uh, the people that say they're Native Americans and stuff today. Um, just, you know, just things he said about quote unquote Negroes and stuff like that. And, you know, you don't think he's going to be there trying to defend them. And uh, we were just talking about the link between Native Americans and Freemasonry. So I was, uh, I thought it was interesting that they also quote him. It shouldn't be a surprise, but I was just surprised to see that they put him in there. What does it say here? He uh, overtook four Apaches. And then there's the uh, Handbook of American Indians, right? Handbook of American Indians. And it talks about, so these just, and it gives you where you can go into here. Delve further our research. But what I want to get to is I was trying to figure out what Apache meant in Jama to the Jamaicans, right? And uh, I really couldn't find a dictionary that would give that answer. Like, I kept clicking on some and uh, would type in Apache, and it said, uh, you know, it wasn't found. I'm like, come on now. So I just found, eventually just took to the Oxford English to try to see what it has to say. Um, which language is it? The Navajo, yeah. Let's see. The other one, I kept saying it was going to be in French. And as you can see, it's a street ruffian or a thug origins in France also more widely a person who behaves in a ruffian manner so th if you're speaking French I mean, an Apache would be somebody that you uh, would call uh, a street thug right is this a street ruffian and stuff uh, let's see the leader of a band Rosen Paris also known as an Apache well, they said the Spanish were the ones that named them that, so that's interesting. Let's see. And no, I don't think that's what. Apache. That's a New Mexico's explanation. Some of the Apache dances. The Apache dance in Juno, California. Ah, oh, here it is. I think this one right here. Look at this. Can you see that? Oh, I hope. This hope's not blurring up. The California version, versions of the Persian Apache dance. You see that? There we go. Think about that. Think about that. Because that's what stopped me and did in my tracks. I'm like, I gotta be able to put that on blast. And there's another one down here. As uh, the public eye, as the average servant girl. Or black and tan club Apache dance. And I think that was just about. Let me see here. This is the other thing I wanted to show you. I was searching for. Here he is. I uh, searched uh, Apache chief and uh, came up with this guy, and it was, uh, I researched it seen that he had a whole bunch of comedy and stand-up so that's what made me want to look up and see like it's out in the open it's been there you know and uh now it makes me want to sit down and find out if he ever explained why he called himself that you know so just wanted to share that with you